Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer, Professional Psychic, and in this video we're going to be talking about your financial forecast during this quarantine period. And if you're interested in that, stick around. If you like my videos on YouTube, then I think you would enjoy a private reading with me even more. And you can find the link to that in the description box below. All right, you guys, you know the drill. These are the three decks before you. This is deck number one with this pretty mysterious green stone. This is deck number two with a smoky quartz. And this is deck number three with this beautiful froggy. I think he might possibly be Jade, but I don't know for sure. These are the stones, so I want you guys to just relax, rest yourself, drop your shoulders, and take a moment and pick the stone that you feel the most connected to, and that will be the deck. Everything is going to be timestamped for you in the description box. I go through the video, and I will let you guys know exactly when each reading will begin, so you can just go straight to that section. All right, you guys, let's start with deck number one right over here. I'm going to move these guys to the side. Let us begin. Yeah, this is a beautiful stone. I don't know what it is. It's just a very beautiful, deep, deep green. Like, it's gorgeous. So, it was a gift from a friend years ago, and I just don't remember. So, let's see what your forecast is. You don't care about the stone. I'm just going to say. Okay. Here's what I'm getting. You're good. You're okay. I feel like your finances are okay. Not amazing, but they're okay. But I feel like you're pretty much you're going to have stability throughout this period. What I want to say to you is don't focus on what could happen. Don't focus on the negative. I feel like you are okay. Live in that. Be okay and focus on being okay instead of focusing on, oh my God, this could go bad or that could go bad. And what about this? It's not good energy to be putting out. We all create our own worlds. We all create our own universes and we all create our own heaven and hell based on how we view our lives through the looking glass and if you focus on the fact that you have stability you're very blessed you have security you have stability you're okay you know what I mean focus on that every day oh god I'm so grateful I'm so thankful that I'm okay don't worry about what might go wrong don't worry about all that you're okay focus on being okay see this card right here this is all about how much power you have in your own life and if you focus on being okay and being grateful and being appreciative, you're going to notice that your little nest egg will grow. Don't worry about how and, and if and all that jazz. Miracles happen all the time and you need to start kind of recognizing that. Your nest egg will grow. Things will improve. You're going to be okay. Don't focus on the negative. All right, everybody. This is deck number two with this beautiful smoky quartz. Smoky quartz is a great stone. It is great for protection and all that jazz. Okay. Here's what I'm getting. Uh, I feel like right now you're you're going through a lot of hardship. I feel like you may have lost your job or you're making way less money than you're used to. I'm definitely feeling like you're feeling overwhelmed. I do feel that you, uh, it will turn around for you and you will be okay. I definitely feel that even though right now the foreseeable future seems very, very bleak, um, it's it's temporary and you just got to keep telling yourself that this is a temporary situation and a good trick that um, That I like to use sometimes when I feel like I'm in a pinch Especially if there's like a time crunch uh, Is to use a little trick and I learned this from Neville Goddard. He's really interesting or Goddard Goddard I don't know how to pronounce his last name guys I will link a video if I can find it below for you guys to check out But he uses a technique called I remember and so if you're in a bad situation You're supposed to talk about remembering when it was bad so that you can in a way you're tricking your mind into thinking that it's good So oh my goodness, I remember when I couldn't pay the rent in April and that was so scary I remember being really scared about that and, uh, you know, it was a very, you know, but, you know, the rent is paid now and everything is great now. But I remember when that was so scary. And then I remember being able to pay the rent. And so it's like you remember the bad thing. So you can, by remembering something is bad, you're putting it in the past tense. And you're putting and affirming into your subconscious that things are better now. I don't know if that makes sense. But I'll let you watch his video. He explains it more eloquently than I can. But I would try that technique. Uh, but just know that whatever is going on right now, even if it's bad, and I feel like it is kind of bad, it, you will get through it. What I also can say is I am feeling like you are going to end up changing careers or, or morphing into a different career. I almost get a sense of you going back to school 
and like making changes to the career that you were doing. I think that in a way, even though this is a really bad time, 10 years from now, five years from now, you're gonna look back at this time and be like, you know what, that was amazing that that happened because this really helped me solidify the path that I'm on now. If this never happened, I would have never made those decisions. And so you're always gonna have gratitude in your life for this time, even though it feels really bad right now. All right, guys, this is deck number three with this cute little froggy. Oh, so cute. His little foot is like broken. Poor baby. His little flipper. Okay, deck number three. I'm just going to illustrate these cards for you because you might not be able to see them very well. But this card is, they're so damn shiny. This card is about like this ocean. This card you can see pretty well. And this one, if you can't see, is an island right there. So this card right there is the island. So what I would say to you guys about this spread is this. I feel like you're really just getting by with the skin of your teeth financially. Like you're, you're just making it. And it's not easy. I feel like there's a lot of stress, a lot of struggle. I do feel like you are making money, maybe not as much as you're used to making. And I feel like there's a lot of fear. It's going to be okay. See this island right here? See how this is about water and this is about a new beginning and this is that island? This island is great because if you're stuck out in the ocean, you're going to want to see that land. You're going to want to know that you're going to be saved and you're going to want to be on that land. And even though this is an island, don't take it as that. Take this as your salvation take this as stability security a place where you can you know have growth and and you know possibilities so even though you're you're just getting by just by the skin of your teeth um i feel like things will turn around i feel another opportunity is going to be coming to you it's not even something that you're going to look for it's something that's just going to be presented to you out of the blue that's going to be just an amazing thing in the meantime what i could say to you is just be cautious um you are you you know how can i say this be cautiously optimistic you are just grazing by and that can be a, a very uncomfortable feeling when you're just barely able to make ends meet um it, it can be really challenging but what I would say to you is if things are going to get better. Focus on that. Focus on, you know, the goals that you have. Focus on the bills that you have and, and focus on them getting paid. Focus on trying to feel relaxed about them getting paid because they will get paid. Everything is going to be okay and things are honestly going to get better. After this is all over, I feel a job change is happening and I feel you're going to be able to have more success. So in a way, you are blessed even though it doesn't feel comfortable that you know, you're just kind of barely grazing by, you're at least able to graze by when others aren't. So try to take comfort in that. Try to have gratitude for that. Try to not let this uncomfortable situation get the best of you and make you more irritable and more grouchy and more difficult. You have people in your life and right now you need to see them as a source of joy and happiness and a distraction so that you can get through this process. And I think if you let all this get to you too much, you're just gonna push people away. And I know that that's not what you want. Things will get better, but it is it is scary right now, but it, it, they will get a lot better, much, much better than, than you're doing right now. All right, you guys, that was the video. I hope you guys liked it. And uh, I hope that it was helpful to you and just hang in there. I hope that you guys are safe and I'll see you in my next video.